Good morning, everyone. Dougie Barnard here. Welcome to another video. We are back at the Golf Club of Georgia at the par three course. And this morning we're doing a quick nine. We're playing three balls from each hole. The goal is to break par. Let's jump into it. Look at this beautiful layout. This is hole number one here. Playing from about 95 yards. And there's the pin looking middle of the green. We got three chances here. We're playing out all three balls. We got a 56 degree here. We're just going for a little punchy 56. Should be enough club. Okay, ball number one looks like it's on the green. At the right club, let's roll it back two more times. See if we can give ourselves two more birdie looks. I mean, nearly an identical shot. That went right over the pin. We got two birdie putts coming up. You know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm doing the same thing here for the third shot. Okay, from the looks of it, it looks like I've hit the green all three times. That's awesome. Great start here. So if you haven't seen my last video from the Golf Club of Georgia, I did a par three video here. We played three holes. I shot one over par. Started off with the birdie. It was an awesome video if you haven't seen it. And then we did a little bit of highlights from the course. And so I've, it helps that I've played this course before. And here on number one, you know, I've seen this hole before. I sort of know the yardage. Those were my first swings of the day. So feel pretty good that I hit the green three times. And like I said, this is a quick nine holes. We got three different holes and we're playing three balls from each hole. Let's just see what we can do here well, on hole number one. I just hit the green three times, which I'm really pumped about. Didn't want to leave it short in the bunker. So we got some pretty good looks coming up here for birdie. First of all, let's just look at this course. This is beautiful morning sunlight here. Oh my gosh, number one is just mint. And you didn't want to get stuck in this bunker here with this lip. You needed to carry it over and I did that. So I feel pretty fortunate there. Had the yardage down, was missing in the right areas. And those are our three tee shots here. Great start here. We got three good looks at Bird. Here's our first look at Birdie. Finish that one out here. So we are in for one par. Now that we know the line, this putt should be a little bit easier. We know the line and the speed. In for two pars. Last look at birdie here on number one. This is our guy, Morgan, of the Pure Golf Society. Good morning. And uh, he's nice enough to has, have us out here today. It's gonna be a great day. Nice and sunny, 36 holes. Woo. Creek side, lake side, maybe a little lunch in between. Ooh. Can't complain. Can you give us a chip? Let's do it. Come on. Oh, so pure. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this guy. Thanks for having us, Morgan. So we are here on number two. This is a longer hole, about 120 yards. The pin is tucked front and we just got to get it there. Last time we played this hole, we were short. So we got to get it there. We've elected to go with the 52. We're just going to hit some punchy 52s here. Should be enough above to get it to 120. Over the green. Get that a little thin though. Hit 
that one much better, but we're at the back of the green. So I told you I didn't want to miss short, uh, miss long twice. Let's see if we can dial in the yardage here. just hit to the back of the green again. You know, in retrospect, I think the punchy 52 was not the best call there. I think a full 56, just launching it high, would have been better. So, I mean, look, I'm not super impressed with those three shots there. I'm hitting punchy 52s. And what I didn't realize is that when that ball's landing, it's not sticking, it's not spinning back. I'm not going full swing sand wedge type of spin. Now that I really think about it, I think Last time I hit a full sand wedge and it was just a little short because I think there was some breeze into us. But from 120 with a front pin, I think a full sand wedge would have been the play there. You know, I elected for a conservative route, take enough club, just hit a punchy swing. I did that. Now I have three balls near the back of the green with the pin all the way up front. This is gonna be interesting. Now we're grinding for pars. We're not really looking for as much birds as we are just trying to get out of here with pars if we can to remain at even par. So this is what I was telling you about. Did not want to be short in this bunker. The pin is tucked right on front of the green. Looks to be a little bit of a backstop behind it, but I think greens are a little wet this morning. They're not rolling super fast. So it'd be tough to spin one all the way back. I think a couple of mine landed in the middle of the green and just took big hops forward. So that's where we're playing. We're up there. Three chances now to come down the hill. Everything is running downhill. Speed is key here. For some reason, I thought this was all downhill. I thought it'd be quick, but it's pretty wet. So I left the first two short, unfortunately, which means I have downhill sliders coming up. And then the last one, I actually gave it a run past the hole, which means now I can go back up the hill, which is the place to miss here. Need to take my time here, but also need to focus on speed because these two putts are downhill. So yes, we're trying to get out of here with par, but we are also focusing on our speed. Huge putts, huge Doug. That is huge. We're staying at even par. Those were not easy putts downhill. And now we get to give it a run up the hill. One, two, three pars right there. Really pumped about that short game work. Okay, here's the new situation. We are even par through six holes. It's a quick nine. Now is the time to strike. The goal is to go under par. We have to stick at least one of these tee shots tight. Give us a realistic, really good chance at bird here. Would love to finish this quick nine under par. Let's take a look at the third hole. We're here at the back tees, the blue tees. We're heading right toward the range. So if you thin one or blade one, we got some members in there in the background that won't be too happy about that. So we got to hit them flush here. And that is our pin right over the bunker. We got about 80 yards of this flag. You know the drill, we're grabbing our 56 and giving it a little punch. Hit that one so well, but a little too strong. We are just over the back edge of the grid. Just now hit another shot perfect i hit it perfect it landed just over the bunker and it tumbled from the front of the green all the way to the back we need a new club this 56 punch is not stopping on these greens time for a 60 degree and it's time to put some spin on it all right we 
we hit the green. We gotta look at birdie. Look how hard this pin position is on the down slope, right over the bunker. No room to stop it from 80 yards. I think this was one of my ball markers, but it just had no chance of stopping. Okay, I will elect, elect to putt all three of these. See what we can do here. We gotta finish the nine holes strong. It has all come down to this. We have one putt to go under par. One putt, the final putt. You couldn't get any closer than this to breaking par. We need this putt. It is make it or go home. We cannot leave the short. I feel absolutely sick to my stomach. We just left that in the heart. I told you we couldn't leave it short and we did. This is how close we came to breaking par. This is how close we just came. That hurts. All right, I wanna wrap up the video here. As you saw there, unfortunately, I left it in the heart. I left it in the heart. We had an under par round that was, you know, a couple inches away and I left it in the heart. I told you I shouldn't leave it short. I feel sick. I played those nine holes. I grinded to make pars. And then sure enough, at the end, when it mattered most, I left it in the heart, just a hair short. So hope you enjoyed this par three course vlog. You know, we're rolling past the range here at the Golf Club of Georgia, as you can see, and it's stunning. This is a stunning property. Thanks again to Morgan for having us out here. Excited to play this course. Great to be back to the par three course. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. I'm Dougie here. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time.